Well, right now the search is on for a shooter who opened fire on Detroit's east side, hitting a 12 year old boy. This all happened around 845 last night on Nottingham near Britain. That's not far from Meringue. Police tell 7 Action News that the 12 year old was hit by a bullet while on the second floor of a home. The shots came from outside the house. We're told the boy was taken to the hospital. Thankfully, he has non life threatening injuries. We'll continue to provide updates as soon as we get new information. Well, this morning, the state health department is updating its quarantine and isolation guidance for K through 12 schools. MDHHS says those who test positive with no symptoms should monitor for the development of symptoms and isolate at home for five days. Now, if symptoms improve, you can return to school wearing a well fitting mask for days six through 10. Now, those who've had close contact with someone testing positive for COVID-19 should quarantine for up to five days and take a test if feasible on day five. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian will have much more in the updated guidance coming up at 5 a.m. Well, this morning, the U.S. Marshal Service is offering a $5,000 reward in the search for a suspected killer. 32-year-old Christopher Greer is wanted for the murders of two sisters in Wayne last week. Now, police say Greer dated Dominique Parchman, and during a fight, he allegedly shot her and her 18-year-old sister, Cheyenne Hall. Investigators say before Hall died, she identified Greer as the shooter. A good Tuesday morning, a very cold start to the day. We'll see some sunshine though and temperatures in the low to mid 20s for highs. As we head through the morning hours, we'll have some of those wind chills below zero, single digits to low teens by the afternoon. Temperatures recover a bit for tomorrow, back into the mid 30s, a few snow showers, a flurry possible. Temperatures will stay in the 30s on Thursday, falling for the weekend.